Madam Speaker, colleagues, good morning. Uh, four in ten Oregonians rent their home. That means we have about one and a half million people in our state who are vulnerable to unpredictable housing changes. Over the last few years, as both a Milwaukee City Councilor and a coworker to many colleagues who rent, I've heard some difficult stories of no cause evictions or substantial rent increases, stories that I wouldn't wish on anyone. Coworkers have become homeless, longtime community volunteers have been uprooted, and single parents and veterans have been abruptly kicked out of units and have struggled to maintain educational stability for their children. Evictions and displacement impact all of us. It exacerbates fiscal and economic challenges in our communities by affecting employee productivity, lost wages, and employer leave policies. And it increases demands on social services, shelters, and hospitals too. This weekend, during a forum with tenants, homeowners, advocates, and fellow legislators, I heard directly from people being priced out of Milwaukee after transportation investments like the Orange Line made it more and more of a desirable place to live. And as a city councilor, I heard similar stories then too. Milwaukee's citizen liaison to the County Housing Advisory Board, a veteran and single mother, received a no-cause eviction in the middle of the school year. The chair of Milwaukee's Arts Committee received a significant rent increase of up to $515, with the number dependent on how long of a leash she was willing to sign. After not being able to find comparably priced housing in Milwaukee, she had to leave Milwaukee and move to Portland. A single father came and testified earlier in 2016 before our Milwaukee City Council. He sought our assistance because he had received a no-cause eviction. His son, who required in-school support for special needs, was thriving under his current teacher. The father had been looking for any apartment in the school district boundaries that would allow him to keep his son in his particular classroom, but he could not find one. He asked his property manager for a reason why he was being kicked out, despite being current on rent payments, and received no answer. He pleaded for our help so that he did not have to resort to living out of his car to keep his son in his school. Our city council had no resources or funds ourselves to help him avoid being evicted. This session, I and 14 of my House and Senate colleagues thus far have signed on to House Bill 2003 and or 2004 to work to help keep Oregon families in their homes and ensure that if a landlord's going to remove someone from their home, that they have a valid reason for doing so and that they communicate that reason to their tenant. These bills are an initial starting point for an urgent and necessary conversation on how our state landlord-tenant laws can better serve all Oregonians. I hope you share your thoughts with me and stay engaged along the way, as this is an issue that affects all of us who call the state home. Thank you.